YY Friendly Cup Dream Event. There's actually a couple of things um, that happened. There was an East-West battle, which is basically two teams going head-to-head. -head. Um, you know, like your typical Tozaisen battle. They also did some exhibitions. And then they also did casuals. This happened pretty much like a day after uh, Kakadugo. But that weekend, we also had um, HFS. And uh, I think there was another tournament that was happening. It's all a blur to me now. I, I can't remember. But uh, there were a lot of different events happening. And, you know, YY hit me up. Hey, can you do like a restream for this? And uh, I was like, I would. But I'm watching HFS. Like, I can't. Um, and so then, you know, we had to catch up on Kakadugo and stuff. And now finally we're here. So I'm curious to see the uh, East-West battle because, like, I think at, at the Kakadugo tournament, we didn't really get to see all the Spanish players. But here we will be able to see all of them play. And then uh, some of the exhibitions I also want to watch, depending on the matchup. Uh, you know, if, if it's, like, a really interesting matchup, then, then I want to watch it. But uh, recently we did the uh, third year cup for a YY restream and that was cool and there's a little bit of lore that was a fun event so they're really trying to make uh you know great events for 2x and I like the format of the YY cup where it was kind of like everyone has to represent their own arcade so I'm curious to see what's gonna happen here but um yeah I don't know yet I don't know so yeah we'll uh We'll load it up in just a sec. Actually, let's just do it now. Yeah, what a beast. I guess I can add in like my own chat box. And like some green stuff. There you go. It's kind of legible in case I need to look back at the chat. Um, let me put this down a little bit. So it looks like they have around 55. No. Can I math right? 45 players? I got excited. Not bad to get 45 players at an arcade. And so... Hopefully they randomize the names. Otherwise, it's going to be all of Spain on one side as to starting. But I kind of want to see them all split up. The anchors look like... Uh... Oh yeah, I think names are getting swapped around oh and they're also in um roman text so i'll be easy to read yeah why why they're doing they're doing good stuff for sure um 2x they really made a, a splash splash on the scene and a lot of uh, a lot of foreigners travel there to experience that OG arcade culture. But yeah, I hope the names get randomized. Oh, give me a sec. Alright, let's do this. Let's forward it. Alright, Mizuki versus Yoga Boy? Is that really? I guess that's gonna be the first match. Alright, so yeah, the names did get kind of split up on the right hand, on 2P side. That's where all the Spanish players are, and. Here we go. Oh, it's friendly bully. 
Let me know if uh, the game audio is too low or I mean, we won't be able to bump it up too much because then uh, it might sound a bit muddy. But uh, all right, here we go. So we have Mizuki and Yoga Boy. This is 22 versus 23. Jump. Nice, good jump. Uh, light kick, air to air. Got the slide punish, but the media gets thrown. Double dragon. It's a uh, Tamashima jumping on the mics. All right, here we go. Oh, missed medium ball. Good anti air. Got the knockdown. I like the coordination too with the green, uh, green Rue and green Blanca. All right. Good jump. Yoga Boy looking for the hot bite. Air to air from Mizuki. No, just guard it out. Just guard it out. Good jump, but gets hit with the sweep. That's a good reaction with the jump. It was in response to the fireball, but just could quite, couldn't quite get the hit. Whiff punish on slide. And, uh... Yoga Boy trades. It's the first game. Hopefully they uh, pop up the names. Oh, they're just going to hit next. So, Vins. No chance. That's what you got now. Uh, here we go. Vins, do it for the Vegas. Do it for all the Vega players. I can never not root for Vega. I I will root for any Vega anywhere, anytime. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. All right, here we go. Nice guard. Head press tags the jump back MP. Yeah, I like this. They could leave the names on there. Oh! Super Mario hits twice there. Jump MP. Good fadeaway. Vin's going in a lot with the head stomp and uh, Devil's Reverse, so... Oh, yeah, at this point, you can kind of chill out. Um, he's looking for someone to jump over, maybe. Oh, nice Daike. Slide, no punish. And there it is. Honestly, I think that move is really difficult to use. Like, Devil's Verse and Head Press on Ryu are not easy. Oh, good uh, neutral jump right there. Ryu just has too many things to punish that with, so you kind of can't really throw it out. Unless you're doing it over a fireball. You see how uh, Mizuki is just waiting for them at this point. Alright, now we have meter, so don't really need a head press too much. Oh! Shinku? No, misses Shinku. One chance here. And the Tatsu to go through. Alright, who's up? Dark Slane. We saw Dark Slane go crazy at Kakirugo. I want to see some Tatsu shenanigans. Oh, all right, first attack goes to Mizuki, or you can cross up, low jab, throw. I like that. That's pretty clean. Back jump. All right, here we go. Nice guard, short, short, short. Wow, big walk, and that should be the round. Repa. That was a good round. Yo, morning. All right, gets sweeping. Oh, if I think if he did cross up MK, it might have been uh, it might have been the round. All right, helicopters. Ah, can't block too much anymore. Uh, format here is uh, the player's name, the players on the left on 1P side. They're just going to go in order. Same with 2P. We can see that uh, it's 22 versus 21 remaining. Yoga Boy and Vin's got knocked out. So it's just a fight to the end. Yo, Ricky. 
Speaking of uh, Spanish players, Ricky, one of the top players of that region. In fact, may even be the top player of Spain, right? Uh, Yagi DJ. So I haven't watched any of this yet. I didn't have a chance, so uh, glad I finally got a chance. But uh, here we go. Knee bash. Big damage there. He took a quarter of the life. The walk under. Wow, big damage on Stan Fierce uppercut, too. Nice guard. And a punish on uh, Block MGU. Quick, quick round for Dark Slane. Quick. Hello. Here we go. And Dark Slane uh, Air Tatsu is really good. Oh, that was funky. Crouch Fierce and Tatsu looking like a Champion Edition combo. That's it. Damn, Dark Slane, man. The come up. I think this is Kishu Ryu. Who? Which Ryu? All right, another Rue Ken. And despite how crazy Dark Slane plays, he has moments where he definitely does play really patient as well. So, like I said, it's very hard to get a read on on his style. Actually, I don't know the name of this Ryu, so hopefully when they switch back to Roman. Oh, Tatsubug! Close to stun here, close to stun. Nice guard. Yo, that's a lot of helicopters. So yeah, he gets the Tatsubug, the Superbug rather, with the Tatsu. And brings it back. Alright, helicopter again! The overhead combos into sweep. Reuse the trouble. Kiss the jab, sure you. Double low forward huddle, no combo. Right, here we go. Huddle. Short, short, repa. And he mixes up high and low, right? So you need to have you need to have reversals on Dark Slane because he's always gonna meet you, so don't try to block high or low or throw, just just DP, just use your reversal. <laughs> nah, I don't know who uh, Yasumondo is. This must be a troll account. Unless this is Yasuken, the the Hawk player, under an alt account as Yasumondo. At this point, uh, Kusumondo was already in uh, France for HFS, so... Alright. This is the cross-up. And of course, Dark Slane had a nice little run against the uh, the Honda team. That should be it. Oh no, Mr. Repa! But you know what? That's a mix-up, I guess. <laughs> Alright, sure you can. Sure you can. Nice punish. Chip is a factor, but he doesn't go for it. Was looking out for a DP. Dark Slane didn't budge. Ugh, ugh, won't budge. Oh, that Duke Nukem? Where there's a door that you run into that you can't open? Alright, round three. Misses safe jump there. Yeah, I'm sure he keeps him safe. I slow forward, but too many huddles right now. Yasumondo. Able to jump him. Gets it. 50-50 time. Oh, trades. Our Dark Slane put in work. Took out three players. And now we're going to get another Ken. It's going to be Shiga Ken. There's still uh, AL, um, Marcade, or Marcade. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Stepta from uh, France. 
DX Steve. So uh, there's still quite a bit of foreigners left. Chigakan is not one of them, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Shiga Ken, really good Ken. Okay. This is not medium kick. Nice short you entire. I don't see Shiga Ken losing this one. <laughs> Good walk sweep. Oh. Low strong anti air. Very strange. That was cool. Ah, right, walks into shore, you know. Ken has quite a bit of control in this match. Nice walk up sweep there, too. Got the knockdown, backs off, goes back to the optimal zoning. Yasuken. Sorry, Yasu, Yasumondo, rather, has not had a chance. Oh, back jump gets tagged. Wake up, low forward huddle. All right, looks like Sakamoto's next. So Sakamoto, I think, plays what? S. Chun? Yeah, no stun. CPU is OP. No, the, well, the back jump, he should have landed on time and punished the headbutt. All right, so Sakamoto plays uh, Bruce. They got... I think there must be two Sakamoto. There's another one who plays S. Chun. Oh, nice. Walk up Shoryu. It's thrown on the meaty. He's in CPS1. First, the god dies of crashing light kick, apparently. <laughs> Dai-P. That's the, that's the Yodai-Mei button. Okay. And of course, I gotta shout out uh, the YY11 team. They were the ones that won Kakerugo. Oh! A supper cut. Oh! Got up with Nambo. Nice stand light kick and then a sweep. Those are good button choices against Ken. And zero dot. Zero dot. No. Oh! Made that last pixel count. Zero is a number. It's an absolute value. Jump around house. Jump around house. Oh, good low forward. I don't know what he tagged there. Maybe a Sam Fierce. Empty jump tiger shot. All right, sure you. One chance here. Nice guard, man. He just waited. That was a good play. Good play from Sakamoto. He made it so that he didn't even have to block. He was ready for the punish. So good read. Was prepared. Made it happen. <laughs> so Paoto is uh, Guile. Good match for Gal, though. One of his uh, better matchups, even. Stagat's herd box is so bad on a Tiger shot. Gal can kind of go over it from half screen with a Sobot kick. And once cornered, it gets rough. Gal almost feels like Chun Li. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it's not a uh, cigar. So right here, it can be hard to get out. I think when Sagat does get his zoning, like, he does okay, but it's hard to keep up with it because you gotta throw fast fireballs almost every time. You see all these trades that uh, Paoto's getting. Full screen, basically. Full screen, so bad. He's Dalsim now. It's a huge difference. Oh, Mrs. Summer. And so Sagan has to throw out more normals, especially uh, Stan Pierce will, uh, like right there, I was just going to say, it punishes the uh, step kick and Sobat kick. You do it on reaction. That's like the whiff punish that you need to have. So kind of less tiger shots and more normals. That's how you kind of bring it back with that character. But that was tough. Right, now, next we got Noko Noko. Fei Long. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just open around with the 50% combo. Tick throw setup. Nice weight from both flares. <laughs> Alright, that's a good trade for Paoto. Nice, clean anti air this time. Punish? Oh! Oh, it was a jump. It's nothing. The tonic boom charge. Very fast. Step kick. Stops the uh, Rekiken kick. Crash fears trade again. Pauto playing good. Anti air is on the neutral jump. Baylon's gonna have to come up with something crazy here. He's trying. He's trying to mix it up with the jump. Here we go. Drops it. Still got super in case just to try to get back in. Super. It's gonna do a lot of damage. And it, wow. Brings it back on the zero. Oh man, that's unfortunate. I thought Paoto was playing well, and then he, he kind of just got fade. He got hit with the fade. That boy got faded. Ale. Also from Spain. Ale, I feel like plays pretty grounded. Doesn't go for a heel ball too much. Oh, oh. Got it. Never mind. Never mind. I thought he had the super there. <laughs> I was so sure it was going to work. Sky high. I guess three hit Rekka. I got the terror, ah, but a little wasn't ambiguous enough. It was a little too late on the uh, heel ball. All right, here we go. Uh, a little late again, but it worked out. A little late again. Ah, the wall. Oh, gets to escape. Gets to escape. Sky high claw. We take those. Take those. That's a low profile under that. All right, here we go. First attack. Yes. Yes. Oh no! Oh, I kept it safe. <laughs> you love to see it. This character is so fair. Oh, oh, that's a combo? Meaty combo. Crouch Rears Rekka. That's a link. Alright. Marcade. Marcade. Tough match for Fei Long for sure, but 
If he could successfully jump a Furious Headbutt, it's big damage. Dan Furious tags a bunch of stuff. So Phelan can get damage, it's just he doesn't have like a guaranteed win condition. At a certain point, he's going to have to go in and, and deal, you know. Honda got punishes, basically. Oh, 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 here we go. But the autocorrect headbutt. Noko Noko was working on something there. Definitely was. See the jump over setup. Nice. And chip? No, it doesn't chip. But you know what? Guard headbutt also works. Yo, what up? Ju Shichi and Dark Storm Queen. Oh! That could have got punished. Crouch Fierce is under hands. Here we go. Marcade. Ah, trades! But not terrible because matter especially honda's just gonna go in with big damage but marcade has not had an answer to those uh jump overs quite yet ah low jab i will try i will do my best have a great stream i was about to say you too don't you sometimes i'll, I'll like i'll be at a <laughs> does, does this ever happen to you guys you go to the airport, your Uber driver or Lyft or whatever, but I have a safe flight, and you're like, thanks, you too. You guys ever do that? <laughs> like, have a great stream. Thanks, you too. Alright, so this is uh, Bubble Yamamoto. Oh, that's a barcade setup right there. Yeah, you, they're like, yeah, don't forget your bags, you get your stuff. Hey, uh, have a safe flight. Thanks, you too. <laughs> Enjoy the movie, you too. <laughs> Good play right now, I like this. Not going in. Even though uh, Marquette doesn't have the bar yet. He's got the life lead. Nice guard, bustling. No, he doesn't get hit, but takes a throw. Ah, oh, man. Oh, there you go, then. Have a good stream. All right, first attack. It was an SPD because we're at a Zangief stage. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That that was scary. That walk up super, I would have I would have probably pressed a button there. That was scary. That input was hidden so well. Alright, here we go. No stun! No stun? In round two? Oh man, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Hit him with the snoop. Sea walk on him real quick. That boy got sea walked on. Snoop dog. All right, mirror match. Big ups to my boy Septa. Miss you, bro. Septa's cool peeps. Septa is one of the cool dudes for sure. Great guy. <laughs> So not from Spain, he's uh he's in France. Um Dillinger. No, so usually round two, if you're down around, sometimes it, it almost feels like the RNG will will favor you. Like you'll get more damage. You some yeah, yeah, I guess you'll do more damage and stun. Stuff will work more so in your favor. It's a little bit of a comeback factor of the game. But there's still a wide like the RNG there's a range, right, for the RNG, so. But yeah, a lot of times you'll watch combo videos and they'll, they'll do stuff in round two because that's where you get more damage, generally. Also, those are tasks, so they can always just manipulate and do the combo. Oh, throws out of the bird kick.
Just walk under. Chill, just chill, just chill, just chill. Whoa. Sorry, you're good? Wow, the empty throw. I'm a little biased. Except it's cool peeps. <laughs> Alright, Tensho. Koken low forward. Pushes up to the corner. Septa gets out with a cross up medium punch. Neck breaker. Another throw. Keep it going. Keep it going. Medium, medium. And then gets tagged. You're it. Oh, the rock bottom. Got him. Another rock bottom. First one off the top buckle. Second one in the middle of the ring. We take those. Uh, KTU Gills. KTU Kevin Costner. Oh! Gets a sack throw. Somersault, cross up time. Nice guard from Septa. KTU with a good block screen to follow up with. Sobot kick, sonic boom. Air to air jump roundhouse worked out. And now Septa spends the bar so KTU can chill. Nice summer. Cross up, good guard, double low strung. This is a Sobot kick. Oh, jumps over and gets a low forward. Septa little by little. Ah, was working on the comeback, but KTU's like hit that lean back. For the down back. Alright, gets the first attack with the Sobot kick. Kikokin. Oh, misses the neck breaker, but you know what? It works out because you would have probably gotten hit with something bigger. Alright. Sends a super. It's a sweep, though. Another sweep. Walk up throw, somersault, cross up. Is it gonna hit this time? Of course. Of course the combo hits when it needs to, but then he drops the uh the render cancel. Septa doing a good job of blocking the cross ups all match and I just gotta hold your head up. Not like that, not up toward. Low forward, looking for it, and gets it. Another zero dot finish. <laughs> Anti Koken, I like it. Tries to bait something out. Gets a little forward, but I'm not sure about the bird kick. Nice. The OG with punish on low forward. Spends a super, but you know what? We got positioning off of that. Again, gets a little roundhouse. Went for it again. KTU's in trouble, but down backs for so long. And gets the confirmed combo at the very end. Yes, KTU played Chloe Wan recently. Yeah, yeah. But that one, I think, was like a... That was a 10-0, right? That was a bit of a... KTU's like up and coming. All right, here we go. DX, Steve X. Could be a good time to do some wrestling references. I got two words for you, 2X. Nice. Oop. Oh, got the whiff punish. Yeah, and KTU holds down back. Went for the cross up. The cross up isn't particularly easy on Bison, but it does work. You can make it consistent with Guile. It's not common, but technically it does work. Yeah, it's, it's not what you would necessarily want to go for. Oh, nice. Headbutt mix up. Headbutt mix up. Somersault, good punish. Stays in the front. Safe block string. Ah, base. I like that. Let's see what you did there. Oh! Ah! 
やっぱスリムジムイデッドスーパーアウトレッドゾーンはい、トワカクサルです。はい、トワカクサルです。はい、トワカクサルです。はい、トワカクサルです。はい、トワカクサルです。はい、トワカクサもうあのキックもほぼほぼ IH 以上になりますからね。そうですね。そうすると、離れて。You already know. もう、ある意味、帰りさんもキレイです。Good jump medium kick. Oh, random summer works! That's the Mars combo. Mars will just do jump medium kick, raw summer, two hit combo. Good jump. KTU. And this might be it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, who's up? Tani? It says、uh, Tani. So we're going to get a couple of sim mirrors, potential. After Tani is、uh, Iwaki, so that'd be another gal, too. Yeah, this is the original dive kick, the game. Wow, sounds off two of them. Doesn't get the combo here. Tani now. Got a shot bringing it back. Also has Inferno. This match is all about high ground. Nice. No stun, though. That was a preemptive whiff punish. Yo, what a legend. Yeah, I, I like that they gave him a bunch of drills in this. I mean, you think about it in like World Warrior, he, he was so limited with only the two drills. And this, he actually becomes like. It's like giving him a short hop. Oh, he goes for the. Ah,、uh, it's, it's a trade. Go for the Ito setup. Alright, round opener again with the slide. Two hit. No stun, backs off. Yeah, Dawson will throw that a lot as well. Like the CM medium kick when you're close range. Like right there. It's a tag in the、uh, back jump or drill attempt. Oh, slide, short, fire. Inferno. Drill trade. Let's him jump in. Another trade. Oh, that was nice. Well, CPS1 Sim could drill from like anywhere. Except, I think Hyper Fighting, he got nerfed. <laughs> Hyper fighting, you can't really do those short drills anymore. Alright, Yippee Kai A time. Looks like it might be raining dogs and cats. Nice. Whiff drill throw. 
That will never not be the Afro Cole setup. Too high on that drill. Oh, back short. Back jab. And the sack throw. Yeah, I mean, Dawson's definitely going to build bar quick. In the mirror match, you might even be able to get two Infernos. But you can just kind of throw it out. If it hits, get big damage. If it doesn't, whatever. You get chip and you can start over. Especially a Yoga Blast. You know, you can get a lot of bar off of that. Oh! Did he get a Punisher? That would have been crazy. Nice guard. And... Trades. Sack throw. Big damage on that sack throw too. That was like that was like Zangief damage right there. Alright, hit him with the fight K tech. Puff. Stop right. Right, did you get to watch the uh, Texas Showdown <laughs> Alpha 2? <laughs> Low forward. Dang, man. I mean, Bipson's also got a nice crouching medium kick, so... I guess that makes it okay. Whoa, whoa. Those are some fast headbutts. You got four of them out. Oh, jab anti-air. Oh, oh. Sneaking hits in, but doesn't have bar, so... Yeah. That was going to be tough to come back from. Just didn't have the bar. So there's no threat. Oh, good tap. But Low jab, low jab, low strong. Got interrupted. Ani now gets a knockdown. Sam medium kick. And now we have super, so... Yoga fire you gotta be careful with. Dai P. Oh, actually goes for the throw. Evades the headbutt. Ah, uh, he pressed the button. This might be it. Oh, it's not it. He pressed a heavy button there. Why did he press such a heavy button? I'd be kind of salty on that one. Alright, we got Murakami. Not familiar with uh, Murakami, but... Ken Sim. Alright, so far, so far nothing major has happened yet. Good guard. Slides under fireball. For the proximity guard, walk up knee dash. Didn't get it. Oh! Wow! Kill the start with the fireball. Yes, your sugar Dr. Pepper's on point. I mean, they all are. All are. Wow, nice walk up sweep. But Mrs. Hado doesn't pay the price. Slide, slide, super. It wasn't a combo, but we take those. Two slides didn't combo, but the, obviously second slide super did. Alright, now we got Chun from Hal. <laughs> Alright, what's it gonna be? Chun Sim. 
Said it before, say it again. This is the Ryu Guile, but the next tier above. It's like if Ryu and Guile were higher tier characters, this is what the matchup would be. It's a very back and forth match. Nice. Good punish with the back MP there. I uh, got the knockdown. Somehow still had enough time to go for the cross up. Yeah, jumps back, spends a super two. Trade. Nice. The double. That's why you gotta go for throw with uh, medium punch, not the fierce punch. Oh, sack throw. Could have punished that a bit harder. Back medium punch chance out here. Ah, uh, grab the recovery there. Oh, one chance. Nice bait. Not enough. Oh, wow, what an anti-air choice. Oh, the crazy round. I'll have the nice mix up there. That was a cool round. That's what I mean. Like Ryu Guile esque stuff starts happening in that uh in that matchup. All right, Wani K. Wani K. Hey, what's up? Oh, what? All right, headbutt. <laughs> so much aggression here. Trades with low jab. Ah, uh, couldn't reach on time. Headbutt. But headbutt. headbutt. You gotta be careful with those. Dawson can react. Oh, nice two hit and get the stun. What? What do you do? <laughs> Recovery. Recovery. Tani. Tani literally playing with fire right there. <laughs> Unnecessary. Wani K now. Wow, big damage with the jump fierce. Another jump fierce. Don't let him make the same comeback again, Wanike. Oh no. Jump medium kick. Oh. Jump fierce is so good for Honda. Getting a lot of damage off of that. Tani so far has had the biggest, uh, highest number of wins in this East West battle. Nice double drill, Inferno, that's it. Wow, nobody can beat Tani. Tani's beaten... Did Tani beat who? Uh, Septa? No. DX Steve, Toakok, John McClain, Poff, Murakami, Hal. Anike? What was his name say? Kina Kongutaro? Oh, nice yoga sniper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's two. Nice guard. And gets a reversal throw. Ah. Alright, well, this is what it takes to potentially end a streak here. Oh, wall jump. Just thrown in the corner. Honey now looking good. Got the corner. Ah, but Yoga Blast isn't hit. Mouse Flash. Sky High Claw. A jab and the Scarlet Terror. 
All right, so up next, you got Iwaki Gal. Iwaki made uh, 16 finals at Evo J. And Iwaki also teamed up with Nikaiten and the Spanish players at uh, Kakadugo. Oh, got him with the back of the heels. Walk up sweep. Sonic. Ah! 55. Hmm? Ah, somersault misses. Ayushi. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, full screen sky high claw. Alright, Nishino next. Nishino uses uh, Ryu. まあ、Big damage. Dai P. Dai Shoryu. Burst attack. Short Tatsu Shoryu. Shoryu. Tatsu Tatsu. Nice. Air Tatsu. Lots of Tatsus right now. Oh, wow. Daigo Snage. Jump back jab. Fudachan style. Ah, still alive though. And slide. Sky High Claw. Jump Dipe. Sure you ah get Shinku and a sweep combo. Sweep on the Scarlet Terror. Scarlet Terror. Kill ball? Sure you can. I don't know how Yen put that, but it worked. Right. Up next is uh, Kiyomo. Two P, two P definitely got some ground to cover. Having a ball rock would have been nice. All right, so Kiyomo is going to play Mike Bison. Kiyomo Bison. Hado, 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 Hado. Oh, uh. Yeah, Tamashima Color. Hakadugo winning color. Excess winning color. Tamashima Color. Also Daigo Color. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> nice Dayashi. Alright. Reversal throw. Reversal throw. Throw. Yeah, Bison Super is definitely uh, one of the best. When he has super, you got to play a bit more respectful. Nice sure you on the tap. Headbutt. Yeah. Everyone does headbutt there. Low low rush, low jab. And I'm going to head. Like, everyone headbutts. Everybody headbutts. He's got Ua for days. Nice walk up sweep. On Toby. You got super out the way, but one more hit and you're cooked. Ah, come on. Headbutt on the sweep. Yeah, everyone does that block string. You see that? But, but at that range, it might have been safe anyway. 
Uh, Yuri Feilong, this is good. This is good, having a Feilong. Mini Bison. Oh, oh, Yuri's playing Bison, okay. Purple Bison. <laughs> Oh, good pressure there. I like that that four tap and to walk up. It's cute. All right, safe jump. Ultra and low rush. Nice guard. Daipi. Ah, uh, bends the bar just just to get in his face. And that headbutt? Nah, doesn't get it. You saw he tried. He was standing when he blocked. Headbutt would go through. What up, Dark? Alright, got the grab on Toby. Grab? No, low strong interrupt. Ground rush. Headbutt. Alright, dash upper grab. Uh oh. Nice. And now he's a safe jump? No, he goes walk under instead. There goes the headbutt. Yuri keeps it alive. Kyomo needs one more round. Nice reversal throw. Low forward. IP. Low strong. Honestly, those are the two biggest buttons, the most important buttons in this match. Low strong and stand fierce. Scramble round. Scramble round. Ah, walk up. Super. Alright, who's up next? Oh, Kuroniku, uh... Oh, no, sorry, Shonen. Shonen Ryu. After that, we get some Blanca action. Shonen. Shonen the Barbarian. Shonen O'Brien. Oh, fierce headbutt. Ah, uh, print screen. This is from uh, last. Uh, this is last weekend, but um, there's too many events going on, so I couldn't stream it then. This happened on uh, May 5th in Japan, so last weekend after Kakarugo. Ah, autocorrect crazy. Oh, does it get the punish on the whiff headbutt? Nice guard. Ah, but yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. Not a true block straight. Here we go. Blanca time. Kuroniku. Alright, let's see some Blanca. Yeah, what up, Canada? Nice rolling, rolling. Yeah, Blanca doesn't get many chances in this match, unfortunately. As tricky of a character he is, just Bison's uh, ground rush is just too good, but almost had the stun. Oh, big jump! But, <laughs> but he needs a run button. Uh, is there a Super Turbo Discord? There's um, the Grandmaster Challenge server. I think that one is the that's the, the main 2x server. A nice back hop. 
Uh oh. Yo, more wow tags a back hop with Sam Medium Punch. Got him. Oh no, not enough. There it goes. Rolling. Alright, now up next is the uh, Kamen Jin. Yeah, Kamen Jin. Barlog. Another Evo J top 16 finalist. But yeah, Dark Meat, you could just go on fightcade.com or something. You got instructions there. You can also get um, the Capcom Fighting Collection for Hyper Street Fighter 2. You can get HD Remix on Xbox. You can get Ultra Street Fighter 2 on Switch. Nice. Scarlet Terror, Rolling Crystal, Trades. Ah, medium bite. Medium ball bite. Medium coffee, two sugars. Oh! Nice. Jump over with the jab. Oh! Hot bite through the slide? Nice bait! Wow, Kuruniku. Good mix up. Yume. Yeah, just play Alpha 2 on SNES. Call it a day. Call it a day. <laughs> Alright, Kuruniku had had to fight Bison, then Barlog, now you gotta fight another Balrog. What region are you in, Dark Meat? There may already be some setups around you. Alright, here we go. Side switch. Goes for the, the jump back setup. The Turbo Annihilator. Big ups to my boy Turbo. <laughs> Turbo's one of the good dudes. One of the cool peeps. I'm rolling crystal. He's got sky high claw. Of course sky high claw is coming. Oh, walking super? He tried. He tried. Low jab. Nice guard. Yeah. Sacramento. I mean, not too far from us. I'm south a little bit. We got some setups. No stun. That rolling crystal just tags. Again. Oh, nice slide. Guards it out. The claws are off. Scarlet Terror. He waited for that. Another one. Ah, uh, but here we go. Tomoza is up next. Tomoza, grand finalist at Evo Japan. Actually defeating Opemai in his path. Yes. GG. Very, 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 very nice. Yeah. 456 plus 0.654. That's dope. But yeah, I got Tomoza on this one. I mean, he beat o he beat Opemai just a week before this event, pretty much. Oh, oh, double knee. Throw, stand short. Throw, stand short. Bait. Yeah, he baited. The claws are off. That could be the round. Oh, that was a reverse out to heel ball. Slide. You Vega Daike. You Vega Daike. That's a Murasaki setup. Psycho Crusher throw. Oh. Nice guard. Ah. Ah. Stand short. Stun. No, it doesn't get the sun. He went for the read. He went for the read. 
He went for the read that he was anticipating a wall dive. He was going to snuff it out with the jump roundhouse, get the stun, stand short, low forward, double knee. That'd be curtains. All right, 7-Eleven cycle crusher. Nice save jump. Throw in the corner. Low profile to that throw. Get off me. Ah! Oh! Throw. Unteckable throw, by the way. Got to mention that. Wow. Jump MP. Double knee. So strong. Pick up the claw. Don't you want it? He just wants Scarlet Terror. He doesn't care about the claw. <laughs> hey, congrats on the little one, print screen. That's cool. Uh, Isaji Kami. This, is, this has been a fun East West so far. Lots of uh, interesting matchups. Bro? The YY Friendly Cup has been very friendly. Very friendly. Raid. Oh, nice. Stuja jump light kick. Low forward and backs off. Actually gives up the corner. Tomoza, medium psycho into throw. The Murasaki setup. Oh, Hooligan escape. Cross up, short. Reversal throw. Nagi Kaisen. Oh, I wish I could explain more in depth what Kami needs to do in this match. It's kind of difficult to explain. But. In this situation, she doesn't do good. Once she gets like this, now she's good. Especially with the corner. Like, this is it. Wow, but the double knee. Kami has to bully with. Like, basically, Bibson can't have fun. Like, you have to be lame. Just medium kick. Roundhouse. Kami's looking for a neutral jump light kick to, you know, tag a bunch of different moves. Oh, nice. So as long as Kami lames it out, that's how she can win. Ah. Like this right here is tough, right? Because Vega, he could be in that medium kick roundhouse space for a minute. But nice low profile and a reaction. And, yeah, duck the super. Like I said, Bip cannot have fun in this match. This isn't fun. Oh, Daipi. That's a Tasaka special. Renkan gets it. Look at that. People say it's a bad matchup for Kami, and it is. But it's it's not like... It's not like a... Sagat Dalson bad, you know? Oh, here we go. This is uh, Mayumura. Kakirugo champion. But a blockable Tatsu, not as effective against Kami. So we'll see what tech we got to deal with her. Oh, nice uh, little corpse hop right there with the Tatsu. Another random Tatsu. Are those unblockable? <laughs> YY11, Mayumura, as for you. Spin knuckle Dayashi. Or you can. Nice guard. Mm. Oh! Ah, low jab, but uh, I bet it on the fierce uppercut. Ah, uh, we about to eat fresh. Sub. So Sub, Abe Abe, and Opemai, those are the three players that are left. Unblockable. Unguardable. Characters. Cheap. <laughs> Oh. Six. Sure you can. Sure you can. Oh, nice. Little strong, low rush. Headbutt. Bye bye, Bison. 
バイバイバイソンですね。w a n t k put the bison emote. <laughs> oh, man. My commentary is basically Japanese. When I do these English restreams, I'm literally just like <laughs> predicting what they're going to say and saying it in English. <laughs> Alright, I'll be, I'll be Ryu. X Ryu desu, ne? No, I'm not translating it. I'm not fluent in Japanese at all. I just I, I pick up bits and pieces. Because 90% of what they're saying is like what's happening on the screen, so contextually it's easy to follow. Like there, you got the cross up Tatsu. Dayashi, Shoyu. Pinku, checkmate. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice dive P right there. Oh, that jump roundhouse, so good. Had a big jump there, but got cross fear instead of sweep. Low roundhouse would have been a better pick. Nushu jump roundhouse, Dai P again. And the overhead gets punished by Tatsu short. Man, my word, that's funny, that style. He's playing that style. Oh, trades. Nice guard. And gets a punish too. I don't think that was a true punish. Might have been blockable. It wasn't a reversal attack huddle, but uh, we take those. Crouch here, that was good. Sweep. Got the save jump. Mm? 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 And now we're cornered. So Abe Abe has definitely got this now. Mm. Wow, there's so many huddles he's letting fly, and that should be it, right? He let a lot of uh, huddles fly. That should have been Shinku, but you know what? Now you gotta fight YY11's Shinoni, another Kakirugo champ. Iger! The new challengers. S Ryu S Sagat. I'm going to uppercut, tags it with the fire huddle. And now we have the corner. Shishinku again works against the god in the corner. Ah. Nice bait. That was a read. Big read. Alright, jump die, okay. Uppercut, big damage. Ah, sure, he's gonna miss. Empty jump. I was gonna say, more like an aardvark with all those reads. Ah. Walk up, sure you, too sure you. Hello? Pinku's on deck now, but it's gonna be tough to come back. <laughs> Daigos gets tagged. Alright, Taisho, Opemai. You would have to go up against Shinoni, Naoki. 
uh, Shu, Kloyuan, Hakase, and Tamashima. So this is Balrog. Oh! Nice bait, but couldn't quite get the punish there. Scarlet Terror. A nice jump out from the uh, jump over throw setup. Ah, I grabbed the Tiger uppercut! Heel ball. Oh, how do you guard that, man? Come on now. Come on. Oh, Tiger uppercut. The, uh, uh, it's guard. Oh, Tiger Knee Uppercut works out. Uh, oh, nice. Shinoni's like, I can wait for reversal too. But Opemai trains with Yondaime. And Shinoni beat Yondaime in the tournament. Uh oh. Uh oh. GG. GG Desne. Alright, Naoki Bison. Okay. Rolling crystal, jump in. Reversal throw. Headbutt gets thrown. Nice cheeky upper. Slide. Ah, double KO. How did that stand furious hit like that? That was weird. Yeah, he got the he got the lean back for sure. Okay, good throw. Stun and super. Yeah, after you tech a throw, don't press a button. Walk up super, yeah. He's waited. Walk up super, come on, man. I hope him I completely switched it up between rounds. And he's like, I'm just gonna lame you out. Got him. Look at the time. KO 06. And he only took chip damage. Alright, 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 alright. So you gotta fight Shu Ken, Chloe Wan Honda, Hakase Dalsim, and then Tamashimo will have to get off the mics. Potentially. This is a fast stage. Nice sweep. Sure you can. Okay, throw. Walk under throw. Daipi. Yes, Scarlet Tower. Four hit combo. We're going to get another double KO. Oh! Okay. Oh yeah, Chloe Wan gotta get off too. Because he might have to play next, so... I might, I might have to play. 
Ah, buffered the super, but didn't quite hit it. Shu now got a chance. Misses the cross up. Jump jab. Got it. No. Backward short you. Misses the neutral jump. And open my jumps in over the huddle. Gets two hits. Now Chloe Wan Honda's up next. Yeah, you gotta update the controls on the stream. What was that, Market? I think we're getting Spanish commentary. In the meanwhile, Chloe Wan with the big lead. Hosty! It's a dark slain. Alright, Chloe Wan takes the first round. The Spanish commentary is helping. Spanish commentary powering up Chloe Wan, but now. Headbutt. Alright, rolling crystal. Teniendo dificultades para tirarle a, a onda al suelo, pero bueno, ahora mismo tiene un poco mitad de escenario. Buena. Bien, bien ahí. Yeah, The Running Man is a bit of a sad movie. You promise them they'll have this paradise, but it's all like some. Ah, is it it? Jumps up. <laughs> Chloe Wan takes it. But they might do a uh, Chloe Wan versus Hakase and Tamashima. So the one P team wins. But so basically, once your team wins, you just play the rest of the other people that are on your own team. So yeah, let's see uh, Chloe Wan Hakase. From here on out, names are going to be wrong. Have Mexican players been to Japanese tournaments? Uh, I don't believe it's happened yet. They have fought Japanese players on American soil, but it has not yet happened where uh, you know, Mexico's gone to Japan. Soon. I anticipate it'll happen very soon. So far, good trades here for uh, Hakse. Stay medium kick. No Inferno. Ah! But. Back throw. Oh, they offered Mans a headset. He said, nah, I don't need those. Nice. nice guard, but that's the that's a Chloe Wan setup right there. Chip headbutt. Nice guard, but the Chloe Wan setup. Hey, again. Trade and man, Chloe Wan now. Oh, oh. Got it. And now the commentators got to fight each other. Chloe Wan versus Tamashima. All right, here we go. Final East West match. All right, reversal throw. Dos 
conseguido salir el bolso de la cina. Estás intentando cazar las manitas. Wow, what a brave stand jab that was. Jump back MP. Spence and Super. Time's running out. Uh oh, but now we got to deal with this. Nice guard, but look at that. I think it's a. Uh, oh, the buffer on the 100 hand slap. Low turn, low rush actually comboed. Good spacing there for Tama. Stand jab, Trey Zad time, heavily in Chloe Wan's favor. Yeah, Tom Schumann looks like, looks like he's got this one. The Honda can turn it around off one knockdown. Yeah. Oh, one chance, safe jump, but the reversal throw. And that's going to be it for the East-West battle. GG. There was also, um, I'm going to load it up. They did a couple of exhibitions, so I wanted to watch some of those, and then I'm going to bounce. Uh, load this up. So Marcade and Tomoza, FC3. <laughs> Tough match for Vega. And this is uh, Shinoni and Chloe Wan on commentary for this one. We can't go wrong with the Luigi. Midori Vega, that's right. <laughs> I'll tell you a random story. No, first time when I was in Japan, <laughs> I went to the shop. There was like this boutique where really... I, I told a part of the story on stream before. Oh, what? That hit weird. So, uh, uh, uh. Ah, I got the chip out. So, uh, so I go to this boutique that had a bunch of hats. I wanted a hat. One of those, like, fedoras. Specifically for a fedora. Yo, you got fedoras? So, uh, you know, picked one out. And then I was like, you know, my limited Japanese. I was like, do you have it in Midori? <laughs> Yeah, I got a fedora, so I could say "milady" and tip my hat. So I asked, like, "Yo, you got it in Midori?" They're like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah, you got it in green." They didn't have it. I ended up getting um, like beige one. So some of those pictures. Oh, nice cross-up setup. That's a zero-three setup right there. The side switch. But um, yeah, ended up just getting it. But it caught. You know how much it cost me? It cost me like a hundred and twenty bucks for that hat. But I was just like, I don't care. The basic hat. I actually still have it somewhere. Actually, <laughs> funny enough, I'm looking at the the coat. There's like a coat rack in this room. And I just like turned my head. It's like right there on top of the rack. But I haven't worn it in years. It's just there. Yeah, I got hit with the Gaijin pricing, but I was like, I don't care. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, 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 ah! Ah! No stun though! Ooh, uh. Yeah. That was a close game one. And I bought the hat and, uh, and then I tipped my hat at the cashier and I said, my lady, and that was it. And then I left. I actually did end up going back there again later at the end of the trip because we became friends. But that was like the pre-social media era for me, so I don't, you know, I don't have much lore on it. 
Finishing those combos, Tomoza. That's why you'll see a lot of uh, Hondas, they'll just headbutt. They'd rather take the one hit. But dealing with guarding that, it's, it's just not worth it. Double knee, see a medium. Psycho, no hands. He was waiting for a hundred hand slap there. So he held down back. Nightmare? No, he saves it. I like the save though. He got a big enough life lead. Save it as a JIC. <laughs> yeah, Canada go up. You should have probably kept that fact to yourself. Should have kept that lore secret. But yeah, if there's one thing to be learned about 2X guys, life's not about the hats we bought, but the friends we made along the way. I do want a Bipson hat though. I want that same hat in green. I would wear it like every day. Uh oh, can we guard it? Nice guard. Head press, yeah. It charges really quick. When you do a low four double knee. Nice jump back. All right, just jump medium kick. Don't school you. Nice guard, but yeah. One more round. <laughs> I mean, I'm no, I'm no fashion buff, but I think I can get away with the uh, rocking a Bibson hat. I think I can get away with it. I mean, I got away with rocking a Yoshi hat, so I think it's it's, it's definitely that's it. Yeah, that was a 3-0, Tomoza. Uh, let's we'll see what's next. I'm not going to watch all these two, hour, two hours of exhibitions. Dark Slaying is shoe. I'll watch it. That boy got, he got pibbed. Alright, uh, Dark Slaying is shoe. I don't know. Dark Slane plays crazy. Shu plays methodical. So I think because Shu plays methodical, he's going to play slow enough where it's not about adaptation against Dark Slane. It's just going to be, I'm going to punish when you do something wild. So I feel like I feel like Shu's got this, like 3-0. I want Dark Slane to put some on the board, but I just, you know, I'm just... Oh, oh, that's some craziness. Chu you. Sure you can. Yeah, like if you ever play a play style that's like crazy, don't try to out crazy them. Oh, Miss Short Short Repa. Yeah, don't try to out crazy. Just. Slow it down and let them make the mistake until they stop. But Shu is actually going ham. I think Shu is just trying to hit a highlight reel. <laughs> like the short, short super attempt, top spin attempt. But I was round two, so he was able to. He could afford that. Ah. Here we go. Cross up. Shore you, shore you. Not to trade. Su no, he doesn't have the super, otherwise you saw the bug. Oh, top spin gets grabbed with knee bash. Yeah, she yeah. yeah, like I said, I think this one might be a clean three, cause Round one he's gonna go methodical, round two he'll go, you know. If he wins round one, then round two you can afford to play a bit loose and then round three will be like, alright, let me go back to turtle mode. Gets the Kamaraya sweeping. Top spin, sure you. 
端っこ追い込まれてどうだどういう見てある見てますね端っこでの攻撃がうまい<笑> Hurry in the, the chat ワニケタスマケ But yeah, you can see you can see how Shu is just like letting him hang himself, right? But that's tough. And now it's round two, so let's see how we play it out. Ishimonji, Shoryuken, we got the corner now. Reads Shoryu, tags it. Shoryu? No, misses the Shoryu. Uh. Oh! And it works? Sure, you punished. Oh no! All right, we take the Nambo. All right, round three. Yeah, so far pretty safe. Hados. Jab, sure you. Jab, sure you. Big jump. With punish sweep. Sure you can. Yeah, see, he's waiting for that. Even if it's not big damage. Humped. Here we go. Dark Slain. One chance. Doesn't get it. Misses Mekuri. Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, ah. Ah. Sure you can. Sure, you can. Big jump. Close to stun here. Doesn't go for the stun, though. Plays it pretty safe. Nice punish. Made a mistake, got punished. I say you want to do it. And Dark Sling takes the first round in uh, game three. First attack. You can see Dark Sling's also slowed it down a bit. He's not going his ham right now. He's definitely uh, adapting until he did that top spin, and now he lost the lead. And a big jump, short, funky kick, double dragon, cross up, one short, two short, repa. All right, let's see if uh, prediction was correct here. Or can Dark Slain throw one on the board? Oh, what a sure you right there. Yeah, she. Sure you. Sweep. Sweep. Yeah. Okay, what's the next exhibition? Yeah, I might skip some of these. I'm going to try to look for matches that I'm like this one I'll watch this I'm on AL my bad we skipped the first and a half round but I think Tom was just gonna go like super aggressive until until he gets punished for it I mean which isn't a bad strategy yo what up we just watched the uh, East West from uh, YY Friendly Cup. And uh, now there's some exhibitions with the Spanish players. So I was just watching that. And uh, But we're not going to watch all of them. Just going to watch a couple. All right. 
one chance here. Doesn't get it. But we got a 55. Everybody wins. Gotta keep the, the dream alive. Uh, Vapture, did, did we get a... Uh, what is it? Uh, Academia? Did they do the restream for this too? There's a... Uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, Arcademia. I thought they were going to do a restream for this as well. All right, nice. Wow, somehow got the delayed stun, and yeah, take the throw. We ain't teching those. That doesn't get the tag. Nice. Horses are crazy, so this is big. AL can take the game. Oh, but misses something there. Alright. Alright. Uh, headbutt, and... Got him with the block string. Got to hold down back there. Tamashima doesn't miss that block string. Damn, what a block shooting. Look at all the pressure he just got. He got bar. Oh. Jump fierce. Oh. IP, man. Alright, what other stats we got? Uh, Honda Bison. Eh. This, eh, Dalton Bison. Oh, Honda. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Play CBS too, y'all. Alright, Murasaki Dark Slane. And another match where um, if you make a mistake, you'll die. Either character. Because it's a pretty fair fair matchup. But Murasaki is a highly defensive player. So similar to what we saw with Shu. I don't anticipate Murasaki will make a lot of mistakes. So he'll be able to punish the Dark Sling style. Like right there. Next time I'm going to get myself a Murasaki fedora. Nice low profile, gets a grab. Again. A lot of jumping there from Dark Slain. Alright, one chance here. Top spin. Oh, oh! It would have been a Denibash chance. 7 11, double knee. Yeah, so Ken, what he wants to do in this match is uh, stay fireballs. Stay fire like he can't start his fun until he gets a knockdown. So you can't really jump in until until you get that. You need that. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, full screen slide. Actually, I gotta lab that. I gotta lab that. I'm gonna lab it after this. Here's a punish you could do uh, in Champion Edition. Oh, wow. Jab Psycho to get out of the knee bash? Yeah, Murasaki is a very um, defensive pip. Whereas Uvega, Uvega is offensive, but then he'll hold down back when he's like, all right, this is my mind game. My mind, my mind game is down back. But Murasaki is a reactionary flare, so that's how he can do a jump strong anti-air, like air to air. It's just Dark Slade's doing air tatsu, so Murasaki's like, I'm just gonna low profile and throw it. Like right there, low profile. That's the punishment, right there. That I think you could do on reaction. That's what I wanted to lab. Throw, like instead of blocking the slide, throw the slide. I think, I think it could be done consistently. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching a lot more CE matches. I'm like, yeah, why didn't I think of that? Because they do it in that all the time. Not live. Repeat. All right, yo, Dark Slane looking good here. Oh, oh. Nightmare escape. And head press. Yeah, this might be it. Murasaki's completely fine with going to time over. I don't know, I think Big Mac stopped when I, like, went on a streaming pause. Maybe Big Mac was my alt account and I was just trolling myself. Missed the throw there, ended up getting psycho. Nice two-hit combo, jump strong, nightmare. Yeah, that was rough. Was it Opemai and Poff? Who's playing? No, it's you, me. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the ball rod color. Uh, ah, Cami Vegas. Oh, no, I don't know. I just think that match is so boring for Vega. Right, what are these players? Is that it? For the expo. Here we go. Mm. So I'm just looking for some specific matchups. I'll watch this one. This is Yoshio and Sub. A oh, bazooka knee throw. Yeah. Nice back end. Alright, uh, double summer though. Yoshio's not missing that. Hi, right, Yoshio looking good in this game too. We skipped game one, but it's alright. That's it. Nah, it's not gonna reach actually. Oh! That's huge! Double KO. 
Unfortunate. Yoshi had such a big life leap. Oh, nice uh, jab anti air into the safe jump. Alright, low jab. No, low forward. You gotta be careful with low forward because uh, Bison has a trap. He can do uh, low short to beat that low forward and then combo to the low rush. So after block super, that's Gal. You really don't want to hit low forward. <laughs> that was cool. Interrupted. Walk up throw. Why? Why and how? Nice back, Sobot. Step kick. Ground rush. Ate something out. Yoshio tagged it with a low jab. Sub now. Got the super headbutt. And now all this corner. But you know what? Pushes him to the other corner that quick. Such a good super. Ah. That was a brave low forward there to go under the tap. Lots of low forwards there from Yoshio. Not surprised, Sub's got the set lead. Yoshio's kind of overpressing a little bit. So I like chocolate coconut water, but they're hard to find. You can find regular coconut water, but is there like a recipe where I can make it like a chocolate? Like, is there something I can add in there to... What do I do? Add like two drops of Hershey's chocolate syrup? Like, what's the what's the secret? How do you do that? Hi, right, Yoshio. Put another round on the board. They really uh, nerfed the stun on Sonic uh, Boom. That was three booms, no stun. Uh, looks like we're going to a game five. Low jab. Right, game five time. Nice somersault. Boom, boom, sonic boom. But missed it. Missed the combo. Ah, uh, nice. I sub now one round away over Yoshio. Three. Ah. Low forward. Alright. Yo, Carcius. Thanks. That's it. Sub takes it. Alright.
Lots of bison play. Another bison gal. Ablanka. Barlog mirror? You would have thought. I guess we'll watch this one. This will be the last set you watch today. If I had more time, I would have watched all those sets. I just don't have the time. Open my shoe. Last set for YY. And then I actually need to spend a couple of minutes to lab that thing since I remembered the uh, the bips and slide punish. If I can do it consistent, it'd be a game changer. No stun because he didn't get to shore you. Uh, Miss to shore you. Happy belated shoe. Um. Vapture, I'll probably need you to elaborate on that. Elaborate, please. Explain yourself. Oh, Miss Jump Fierce with attacks with Itatsu anyway. Oh, Nushu Jump Light Kick, the Matsun. Wow. Four hit combo <laughs> and the follow up. Game one, Opemai. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so that's going to depend on the character, right? As an example. Give an example. Sagat, you know, most players, for the most part, very predictable what that character is going to do, right? It's pretty predictable. It doesn't make it any less effective. Same with, like, Chun, right? If you're fighting a defensive Chun, you know that they're going to do jump back, medium, kick a lot. Fight an aggressive chun, you know that they're gonna go for like tick throws, throw out more normals, more lightning legs. But both are effective. One, two, I oh don't know, misses a combo. But both are effective, so it doesn't really make a difference, right? Because even if you predict it, it doesn't change anything. There aren't a lot of counters against those type of styles. So Yeah. Like, when I commentate, I can predict a lot of what's going to happen just based on the players. Which means if I can predict it, their opponents can also predict it, right? Like, because they play each other all the time. They're on that level. It's easy for me to see it because I, I can, like, see patterns for things. So that's why I can call them out. But it doesn't make it any easier to fight that player. I guess it can be easy, right? Like, some people I know, like, alright, they're gonna go for this, so this is how I'm gonna punish it. But it depends on the matchup. Oh, nice! But it, it depends on the matchup, so... It depends on the, the character, and it depends on the matchup. Like, Dictator, for example, Vega, Bip. There's a lot of different ways to play that character. But his problem is, no matter how well you can play him offensively, his defense sucks. So eventually you're gonna get him on that, you know. I saw what punish. Eventually you'll get him on that, because his defense is the same no matter which which player you're playing against. He sucks against cross ups, right? He doesn't have a reversal, and so a lot of players, e even though his matchup chart is pretty fair, a lot of players know how to fight the character because of his lack of defense, so they can afford to play a more offensive game. The reason why Murasaki does well is because his defense is higher than others. Although he will get hit with cross-up and he will get hit with like random stuff and tick throws because good as you can be with the character, that's something that's universal that won't change. And you, Vega, is more like, nah, like I'm going to land this TOD. I'm going to get this cross-up. I'm going to go ham. And then we talk about like other Vegas, like Tyra. You know, Tyra is more like... 
I'm gonna go for trickery stuff. I'm gonna rely on like I'm gonna go for like crazy high IQ things. And I've talked about it on stream before that like way back when, you know, Vega players were doing better in 2x back then. Cause I just feel like a lot of people didn't know how to deal with this lack of def like they didn't know how to actually be intentional with his lack of defense. And oh nice uh Rencon. No stun? There it goes. But um on, t on top of that, like his offense, player, like players' defense was not as good back then, right? Let's just be real. The meta wasn't as fleshed out. So you can get away with being aggressive. Obviously, Vega is very good at, at being aggressive. And so the character did better back then. But as time went on and people learned how to play more defensive and, you know, take advantage of players with a lack of defense... You know, that, that changed things. Alright, there it goes. GG's. Thank you, YY, for hitting me up about this event. That was cool. Hopefully they uh, run it back again. A lot of good players gathered for these. And, uh, yeah, it's always fun times. Um, might stream later. Don't know yet. If you haven't seen it on, um, already uploaded on YouTube, did a restream of pretty much all of Kakarugo. So if you guys want to watch that, um, yeah, take a look. But yeah, I'm gonna lab some stuff real quick before I gotta do family stuff. I'll catch y'all later. But, um, here, check out, I guess, uh, some, some third strike. But yeah, and my style with this character, I don't know what I'm doing. So it helps me when I'm fighting other people because I don't know what I'm doing. So if I don't know what I'm doing, my opponent's not going to know what I'm doing. It, it, it you know, helps my win ratio. I play YOLO. That's, that's the way that I do it. Everyone have a good day. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out. Catch y'all later.